When the word the youngest president was named as the leader of coup plotters in Burkina Faso, certain observers pointed out his resemblance to Thomas Sankara. In addition to the Red Baron, Ibrahim Traoré had several points in common with the African icon Thomas Sankara, who was famously known as the African Che Guevara. To begin with, both are captains. Both came to power at the age of 34, and both of them seized power through a coup. Ibrahim Traoré has been referred to as the Russian puppet that was used to take Burkina Faso away from its long-time colonizer France. In fact, Ghana President Akufo Addo accused Ibrahim of paying famous Russian mercenaries Wagner Group with gold mines in Burkina Faso. The Russian mercenaries are said to be helping them with an ongoing terror war in Mali. Today, Russian mercenaries are on our northern border. Burkina Faso has now entered into an arrangement uh, to go along with Mali in employing the Wagner forces there. I believe a mine in southern Burkina has been allocated to them as a form of payment for their services. Prime Minister of Burkina Faso in the last 10 days has been in Moscow. The 34-year-old Captain Ibrahim Traole deposed the previous junta leader, Lieutenant Colonel Pon Henry Sandaogo Damiba, who was in power for only eight months. Raoul justified his takeover with Burkina Faso deteriorating security situation. He said that the former junta leader had failed to protect Burkina base, especially with the ongoing terror war with their neighboring country, Mali. Interestingly, the former junta leader, Damiba, had given the same exact reason before seizing power, nine months before, from the rightfully elected president, Roch Kabore. After the revolt, Traoré drove with a heavy armed convoy through a cheering crowd in Burkina Faso's capital, Kadogu, on a Sunday morning, emerged from a turret of an armored personnel car wearing fatigues and a red barret. He creed and raised his arms as others waved Russian flags in his direction. Taking complete control for himself and his junta, Traoré dissolved Damiba's interim administration and legislature. He also suspended the constitution. He ordered the senior military bureaucrat to maintain the government regular operations, and he also met with the top brass of military for a photo shoot to publicly demonstrate their support for the new junta leader under his leadership. He also started an initiative to nationalize the country's natural resources. Thomas Sankara was a Bukinabe revolutionist and a politician who served as a president of Burkina Faso from 1983 until he was assassinated in 1987. He came to power in 1983 through a coup and immediately set about implementing a wide range of progressive policies and reforms. He was a proponent of Pan-Africanism and sought to reduce the influence of foreign power in Burkina Faso. Sankara government nationalized all land and minerals and launched an ambitious program of land reform. He also implemented policies to empower women and promote gender equality and initiated a national literacy campaign. Sankara also sought to reduce corruption and promote transparency in the government. He was known for his charismatic leadership, strong speeches, and he was often referred to as the African Che Guevara. He was also a strong critic of imperialism and neocolonialism and sought to build a self-reliant and independent Burkina Faso. However, Sankara's policies and reforms were not well received by everyone. He faced opposition from the traditional ruling allies and foreign powers and on October 15, 1987, four years after he came to power, Sankala was overthrown and assassinated in a coup led by his former friend and colleague, Brace Compaore. Sankara's legacy continued to be celebrated and remembered in Burkina Faso and across all Africa. He is remembered for his progressive policies and his effort to promote self-reliance for the people of Burkina Faso. After assuming office, Ibrahim Traoré led the Burkina Bays in honoring their long-gone icon Thomas Sankara. Traoré also ordered the French troops to move out of Burkina Faso as they were good enough to defend themselves against the Mali Islamic Jihad group. This move came a few weeks after he wrote to France Basila in Ogadogu to leave Burkina Faso. Traoré also granted permission to the operation of the new gold mine to the Russian company Norgold. The company was given a four-year license for the development of a Miyago deposit with an area of 31.44 square kilometer, which will allow achieving of an estimated total production of 2.53 tons of gold. Although much hype has been created around the similarity of these two leaders, we can only wait and see tons of events in Burkina Faso under the leadership of the youngest head of state in Africa, Ibrahim Traoré.